Welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a senior sales engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video I want to give you a short demonstration of MicroStrategy's powerful visual data exploration capabilities in conjunction with in-memory technologies that come with version 903. All live demonstrations are focused on business users who want to discover business insights within minutes, not limited by heterogeneous data sources or time-consuming data import and data mapping processes. Visual Insight is directly connected with MicroStrategy's uniform business abstraction layer that offers an easy-to-use self-service platform where business users combine hundreds or thousands of business entities that can reside in different, not directly interconnected data sources. Without an intelligent business abstraction layer, a user would get lost in data space. Besides, a user is able to upload local desktop data that come from different data sources like Excel, Salesforce or other databases. Uploaded data can be combined with entities from MicroStrategy's uniform business abstraction layer. This offers a wide range of data consuming scenarios that are not limited by external data sources. Now it's time for a live presentation. The following Visual Insight dashboard consists of four different dashboard tabs. Each tab combines several grids and graphs that are interconnected to each other. A grid or graph can offer a wide range of functionality like the heat map and all of them can work as selectors that control the behavior of other grids and graphs. One click selects an item that can control other aspects of the dashboard. This behavior is called an associative analysis. As you can see, some of the graphs offer a graphical lasso selection capability. This is very powerful if you want to combine several items that reside nearby. Now let's have a look at the second dashboard tab. This tab offers a more complex ad hoc analysis. The graphs and the grid are interconnected to each other. As a user, you are able to modify the behavior of the grid and graphs on the fly to adjust your preferences. If you change the dashboard, you can save your modified dashboard to your personal or public folder, or you can distribute your modified dashboard to your business colleagues on their mobile devices each Monday morning at 8 by an automated schedule. The third dashboard tab offers a powerful feature, the Visual Insight Selector Panel on the left side of the dashboard. The selector panel is directly connected to the grids and graphs. If you change the values of a selector, the visualization of the dashboard changes immediately. You can choose all your business entities, like attributes and metrics, as a selector, but you can do even more. MicroStrategy's analytical in-memory engine offers you the possibility to define new metrics on the fly and offers a catalog of 300 mathematical functions like OLAP or statistical functions you can use on demand. Now we want to enrich the grid at the bottom of the dashboard tab. With just two clicks we can add additional attributes or metrics to our grid template. Visual Insight updates the calculation on the fly. Our last dashboard tab is a special one and it combines data from external data sources with local data that comes from a local Excel file with 50,000 rows. Later on we will create this dashboard tab within 5 minutes in order to show you the easy and powerful approach of Visual Insight from a business user's perspective who wants to create Visual Insight solutions on his own. This dashboard consists of more than one data set one that points directly to the external data source. This one uses business entities from MicroStrategy's uniform business abstraction layer. The second one points to the Excel data that we have to upload first. Both of them are related to each other via the same business entities. Therefore, we can control their behavior through the same business entities selectors. At this point of the demonstration, you see the powerful graph matrix control of Visual Insight. It offers graphical filter options that can control the behavior of other grids and graphs. 
In this scenario, the graph matrix controls the grid at the bottom of the dashboard, using the region business entity as a selector. The grid itself controls the bubble graph on the right side of the grid, using customer cities as a selector. In order to set up this behavior, you need less than 30 seconds, and I'll show you the process of defining this interactivity at the end of this video. You can change the control style of the filter items in the selector panel. Visual Insight offers several options to optimize the user's experience, based on the type of business entity you want to choose as a selector. Besides, it's possible to control the link of a filter item to its corresponding dataset. This offers a wide range of interactive filter scenarios for business users. We have seen so far that Visual Insight is a powerful tool for business users who wants a wide range of visual analytical ad hoc power that's based on MicroStrategy's in-memory technology. Visual Insight is seamless integrated in the MicroStrategy Enterprise Business Intelligence Platform and benefits from its scalability, performance and security and its analytical power can be used even on mobile devices. From a business user's perspective, Visual Insight offers an extremely fast and reliable ad hoc access to business entities that aren't defined in a technical dialect but in the business language of the company. The user doesn't get in touch with data sources because MicroStrategy can connect himself to any reliable data source in the background based on MicroStrategy's unified business abstraction layer and multi-source data access technologies. This approach offers a single version of the truth for business objectives that have to be used all over the company in a clear and absolutely certain manner. If the company doesn't have that MicroStrategy business abstraction layer in place, for example based on a company-wide data warehouse, a business user is able to upload his Excel files, local databases or other sources like Salesforce.com into MicroStrategy in order to start his analysis within seconds. And even if the business user wants to mix his local data with reliable data from a company-wide data warehouse, this approach is possible as well, as I'll show you live at the end of this video. Whatever scenario you choose, MicroStrategy's in-memory engine grabs your relevant data pieces, interconnects them and offers a high-speed analytical access to all end users. If a business user has finished his analysis, he's able to share his interactive Visual Insight solution with colleagues and friends, very flexible in several ways, for example by web, mobile, PDF, Facebook, etc. The recipients can modify the interactive Visual Insight dashboard and adjust their personal preferences as well. Furthermore, a Visual Insight user is able to adjust the whole visualization of the dashboard, including dynamic filter selections, in order to point to something critical that the recipients of the dashboard should see immediately when they open it. One of the most powerful features is the automatic recognition of changed business entities in the underlying business abstraction layer. If a KPI or metric has been changed in the meantime, all Visual Insight dashboards using this business object will update this KPI or metric as well with no additional effort. Now it's time for the next live presentation that introduces the implementation process of a Visual Insight dashboard from an end user's perspective in less than 10 minutes. During this process, I'll play the role of the business analyst Michael, who has to fulfill the spontaneous business performance requests from his boss Hugo. Hugo is in a hurry and he wants me to create an analysis I've never done before. Although I work with the company warehouse data every day, I know for sure that not all of the relevant data is available in the warehouse by now. Thanks God, I have this cute little Excel file on my desktop from my friend Bob that can fill this gap. Bob works as a regional manager and I trust his data. Besides, the only way to reach Hugo is by mobile. I know he loves his iPad, so I sent him the solution on his device directly. This will make him happy. Because of the fact that we want to combine data from a local Excel file with warehouse data, our first step is the upload process of the local Excel file Bob sent to me. This can be done very easily inside MicroStrategy's web interface. After the upload, Visual Insight scans the data automatically and starts a recognition process of attributes and metrics. These correspond to your business entities, like customers or revenue. 
Our Excel file has nearly 50,000 rows, but the recognition process needs only seconds to show you its results. You can adjust these recommendations if you want. In our example, we want to combine the Excel data with the warehouse data in order to use relationships between both data sources for interactive data exploration later on. This can be done directly during the data import process, as you can see at the moment. It's very easy to link objects with drag and drop from MicroStrategy's business abstraction layer that's working on the company data warehouse in our scenario with the columns of our uploaded Excel file. When the upload has finished, we can start our analysis based on the uploaded Excel file immediately. But our example is more demanding, because we want to combine data from the company data warehouse as well. So the next step is that we have to tell the warehouse about the data we need. We can reach this goal very easily, because we will use the MicroStrategy Business Abstraction layer on top of the company data warehouse to fulfill this task. As you can see, the business abstraction layer can be used as a self-service shop for business entities. Hierarchies, attributes and metrics describe business objectives, as well as their relationships to each other in the language of the company, not in a technical dialect. A business user can drag and drop entities from the self-service panel to his business entities selection template, and doesn't have to think about databases, tables, facts and all their technical details. MicroStrategy knows exactly how to query the underlying data sources even when business entities reside in more than one data source with different names and with a different level of granularity. With this approach, the user can get access to thousands of terabytes in a very easy and smart way without ignoring security definitions in the underlying data sources. This is the only way to achieve a company-wide, reliable and stable interpretation of business objectives. After we have finished the selection of our business entities that come from the company data warehouse, we save this selection as an object inside of the MicroStrategy portal. Then we can reuse this object in our new Visual Insight dashboard as a dataset. Our Visual Insight dashboard consists of both datasets, the one from the Excel file and the one that comes from the company data warehouse. We start the Visual Insight design process by selecting the first dataset. After we have done this, Visual Insight starts and offers me a wide range of graphical templates for my analysis. At this moment, I close this template window and select the second dataset for my analysis. With the dataset panel on the left side of the window, I can switch between both datasets. In the next step, I want to arrange my dashboard layout. I want to define a layout with three different zones. One zone on the top and two on the bottom of the dashboard. The top zone should use data from the data warehouse, and the two zones at the bottom use data from the Excel file. All zones are interconnected to each other because we have linked some of the Excel columns to business entities of the business abstraction layer. Each layout element can have its own title. Layout elements like grids and graphs can be resized as you like, and you can change their visualization to full screen mode or minimized. Let's go ahead and configure the first graph at the top of the dashboard. First, we have to choose the dataset with the business entities for the graph. In the next step, we choose a graph type. Each type has an individual set of drop zones where you can put your business entities in. It's very easy and smart to use because Visual Insight updates the visualizations each time you change your dashboard layout. All this is done in the web browser and not a desktop application that has to be installed on the client computer.